So before we start talking, yeah, I just gotta, we gotta have a discussion about this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, bro, bro, you recording right now already? Yeah. Oh yeah. Bro, I've been going ham on Yaddle. On Yaddle. I've been going dumb. Stupid doo doo dumb on my research on Yaddle, bro. Yeah. You you did the whole dive. Uh, you did a dive. I don't care that that that's. I know Yaddle is a female, but look at this nigga. Hold like, up, for real? yeah, it's what? A, it's a female. Yes. Oh, I did not know that. Yaddle oh is a woman. Yaddle is a woman. Yeah. Oh my god, yo! What is this image captured from? Which film? It's one of the prequels. You know it. Fan a minute. Well, I watched. I watched the updated prequels, so they're like digitally remastered. This looks yeah. like some OG shit. Yeah, yeah George Lucas went practical shit. Put some hair. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yaddle. I think he, she's gonna get snipped out of the film. I want to believe that he fought for the hair. Yeah. Like all those yes men that were around him, there was one who was just like. <laughs> George, it's just it's it's kind of not consistent. I mean, <laughs> okay, but how will you know she's a girl? Duh. Right. I right. almost feel fuck. like he just said and hair. And fuck like, yeah. All the, <laughs> and yeah, they didn't well question. Right, right, right. Put, yeah. Fuck all the Star Wars shit. I need a Yaddle movie. <laughs> I need a whole Yaddle yeah. film. A Yaddle Yo. series. Purely, and, and guess what? Nigga, I might not even watch it. Yo. <laughs> I just want to see the Yaddle fan cams. With right. Yo. Hands on my knees, Yaddle. shaking ass on my thigh shit. Handle with Yaddle. <laughs> Yo, just animated because, feature. Just because you said that, that is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. No. That is going to happen. This now. image well, is going to be Thank you to whoever makes that. Thank you yeah. in advance. Yo, animated yeah. by Gendy Tartakovsky. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. 100%. Yep. Right. Uh-huh. 100%. Oh yeah! If he did this shit, yeah, uh-huh. bro, look at this, bro. Only, only this only was at the top feet. of my mind today. Russia, Ukraine. I don't know. Yeah, you know? yeah. It was all. It was all about. It was all, all about, about Yaddle. Yaddle. Since all you, about since Yaddle. we discussed the picture, I think w- it was like a month ago when yeah. we was like texting back. That shit has been like in my <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Yaddle pulled up on like, a cloud in the dream. Up, like, yeah. <laughs> These two little teeth. Yaddle's your sleep paralysis demon, bro. Right. Sleep paralysis angel. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, bro. she's she's like she's a she's a Yoda alien. So like you, she's nine hundred years old type. Right. Shit. Yeah. Right. So that yo dissy got hella experience. <laughs> yeah. They didn't do yo. her justice. Like this is if you search Yaddle, this is like the fourth image that comes up. I know. Like bro. right. There's no pictures. Just it's her, just spaced made. out. Spaced out, not like a proper like distinguished no, yeah. Jedi. She, uh, she's giving like white suburban wine mom, like off the vodka. <laughs> yeah, like, awesome volume. No, yeah. everything's like really cool. The kids are doing great. <laughs> uh, Brian, you want to go in the backyard? Yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Go no, ahead. just make sure to bring your kids. Okay? No, don't touch the grill. And Brian said, don't touch the grill. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, just drink in the house so I know you're safe. Right. Yeah. right. Just, exactly. Right. exactly. <laughs> if you smoke, just like smoke here. Like. But also don't bring that shit around me. Just smoke in the house. <laughs> right. Yo. I just love how it's like a declension of Yoda. It's yeah. like Yaddle. Right. <laughs> Yaddle, Yaddle. Yo, I'm Yo. telling you, I feel like it's George Lucas just off the cuff just being like, they're asking him, they're consulting oh, him. Oh, like, he definitely you, forgot he even What do you think? And he's like, rolling. Like Yaddle, I was just saying the Yaddle. 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 And they're like, are you, are you sure? Is that final? Yaddle. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut out or some shit out of the script. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. I, don't, right. I don't know, like Yaddle or some shit. shit. Just, yeah. uh, I don't know. Just put it in there as a placeholder. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> that's I lo- fantastic. I love just how they did not put no effort nowhere into it. They just said, <laughs> no. slap that fucking stupid hair on there. Right. And let's get moving with the if, movie. If you watch right. the Phantom Menace, like, behind the scenes, he's like, yeah, and then they'll just come in with their laser swords and go crazy. Like, he doesn't <laughs> yeah, even know what a lightsaber is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He doesn't even remember. Yeah. I feel like that's the ethic behind Star Wars and so much is just like, okay, so, like, what if, what if Jews were aliens? Imagine that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he, right. He's like, I love him, bro. He's like, he don't say choreography. He don't say no director terms ever. <laughs> he just be like, yeah, and then them niggas going to get to, they going to get to fighting. Right. Yeah. People never talk about the subtle racism of Star Wars, too. Oh, no, no they talk about it. Like you can tell. Time, yeah. Oh, right. I guess yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Like you can tell who the <laughs> the East Asian coded aliens are. Uh-huh. And then he pro- yeah. on the set, he was probably like, oh, just kind of go for like an Oriental 
Uh, right. Yeah. He just yeah. said it just like he wanted. Casually. He probably was just like act like uh, the people on the Akira Kurosawa. Movie. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I, I affect their sort of vibe. But even like that. that line you've been saying the last two days about Jar Jar Binks that Obi Wan says. What does he say? Oh yeah. Uh, what uh, What does he say? He goes what. Why do I think that we have another pathetic <laughs> life form? <laughs> oh like that's God. a colonizer yeah. ass bar. Right. That's a colonizer ass line. Right. Like the Jedi cycle. are like right. the fucking arm of the Imperial. They're the, the CIA. Imperial. They're sure. trying yeah. to save right. they're trying to save America. Right. Yeah. Save democracy, the Republic. quote unquote. They're proud boy ass yes, niggas like right. Yeah. right. Right. We were talking about this the other day. We were basically saying like the Jedi are like it's like the U.S. nation state, like liberalism, neoliberalism, and the Sith are yeah. like Russia fascists. Shit, yeah. So yeah. it's really the battle between fascists bad and bad. And yeah, right. yeah. It's like, oh, exactly. well, right. they're like, maybe, you know, these it's, were the good guys. That, no, both right. these niggas suck. It's fashion, right. fashion right. red fashion. Yeah, right. it was really li like liberal vibes when, when Padme was like, so this is how democracy dies. <laughs> with, <the first laughs> with thunderous applause. <laughs> right. Oh, in the yeah. little, the floating like Congress. Oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If only Princess Amidala were here. A <laughs> <laughs> guy with giant blue like tentacles coming out right. of his head says that. Right. <laughs> the and then Jar Jar is like, I could cause a dictatorship to start. Yeah. Myself. You, yeah. you mean miss a good car cause a dictatorship? <laughs> He's a proposing. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. He goes to Congress and says, Does he literally Yo, say that? He's a proposing. Yeah. Wow. Imagine trying sure. to convince niggas you're not a pathetic life form and then you pull up like Misa in big doo doo now. <laughs> yeah. But have y'all seen the dude like who voiced Jar Jar? Like it is fucked up that like he got all that hate, all that bullshit. Right. For it. That's the yeah. conversation it, we had. It drove right. him close to suicide. Yeah. And then 20, right. 30 years later, like, you go online. The fan theories are like, no, Jar Jar Binks is probably the most badass character in the whole thing. Right. Because right. he's a secret, the, Sith. Sith, the secret oh, yeah. Sith theory. Right, right, right. And it's like, he didn't get, like, I hope he was, he's receiving that and seeing it. And right. Like, yeah. Feeling better no, about there's it. There's no way he feels that way. <laughs> <laughs> I think he sees, I think he sees the nostalgia. Yeah, I, I, I just mean, hope sure. that, like, the death threats were worth it for him. Right. Right. He's right. right. like, I get it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's wild. Cause like, I remember seeing that movie in theaters and even my mom was like, yo, fuck Jar Jar. And yeah. my mom's a Nigerian woman who doesn't know shit about Star Wars. <laughs> just like. Just off the optics of it. Just she was off like, the no. optics. I. I, and as a kid, I didn't clock that maybe it was just because she like saw the racism of it, mm. you know, and she was like, because like everybody think I grew up with niggas asking me if I was Jamaican my whole life. You know? Yeah, yeah. Sure. So like, I don't know, maybe she internalizes Jamaican racism, too, just because it's like, you know, niggas are talking about it's you. There. Right you know? now yeah. it's fucked up because I'm, th I'm remembering I had a giant inflatable like chair that was Jar Jar sitting like this and his body was the chair. Like his arms were the arms of the chair, and you would sit See, on it, and it was like you were sitting on Jar Jar's lap. See, that's kind of that's terrifying. Making that's objects kinda, out of Jar Jar, yeah, like yeah, petrifying yeah. him into a chair. That's literally right. objectifying. that's too close. Literally, yeah. objects yeah. fucked up. That's yeah. too close. And that yeah. shit sat in my bedroom as a child. <laughs> right. And I would read books this big in it. <laughs> <laughs> like the big like white chair. encyclopedia books, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. a tome. A yeah. tome. You remember a at book Costco, about medieval they would have armor. a stack of them. Yeah, they had like Star Wars encyclopedia books at Costco. Yeah, uh -huh. well, and they had. I mean, are you thinking of like I'm like, thinking of the ones that were white and they had like yeah. all the and you could like peel off stickers and shit. Yeah, they just had. Well, them like I'm no, I'm thinking like you open it and it's like this is the anatomy of a sarlacc. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like and it's right. detailed Starlacks. and there's diagrams and they had them right there next to all the camping equipment. Yeah, exactly. I love shit like that. Yeah, I love that type of stuff. I wish everybody like I think everybody should be required. If you make a TV show or a movie, that level of world you building. have to you have right. to world build like that, mm -hmm. yeah. or just make it up right. afterwards. Right. But I need to see an encyclopedia, right? right. You know, even Martin, I want the Martin should, <laughs> encyclopedia, Anatomy of uh, <laughs> the Wiki page, Anatomy, what, what planet each character is yeah. from, and Martin, yeah, right. The Wiki page, we should be able to like keep clicking through like yeah. twenty deep, right. twenty tabs yeah. open. I want to click so on deep on Tommy's life that I'm like he was a Sith Lord. It's an right. <laughs> anatomy of a nigga with no job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Lore, lore is so funny, bro. I've been it's on really dope. Ben Quadraneros recently. That's been my guy. He's ben, he's the guy that? whose pod racer doesn't work during that scene in Phantom Menace. We're yeah. like Quadranero, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he's got a face that's yeah. like this big. 
It's like, this oh, right? I know who you're talking right, about. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, That's who yeah. caught your attention. <laughs> you're yeah. Like, yeah. Well, his name's Ben, too. Like, right. Ben Quadranero. So. Yeah. 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 I know yeah. who you're talking about. Yeah. I'm going to pull up a picture. Ben Quadranero. Ben Quadranero. That's just like a Jersey councilman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How you I'm doing? It's Ben. Ben, ben Quadranero. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> ben Quadranero's your guy for president. <laughs> yeah, nah. I see That's his whole campaign. with that name. That's his cool. <laughs> no. Is Ben like the most common name in the Star Wars universe? It's got to be. It's like him uh, and Ben Kenobi. Well, Obi-Wan name wasn't even Ben, ben. and they kept calling him Ben. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was, a, that was the least disguise I've ever heard. Like, yeah, the most, Kenobi the is least the, secret, yeah. secret idea. Like, Kenobi's giving it <laughs> That's away. That's right. Hot part, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could call me Ben, like, Obi Wan. I haven't used that name in a hundred, <laughs> yeah. in several years. Yeah, oh, was, your fucking name is Kenobi, bro. Like, what yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, he was like, I wonder if that told Ben Kenobi. Like, <laughs> yeah. Kenobi is a, not a very common name. Right. If anything, Ben is a weirder name for that universe. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, stinker or something about the, like that would be more normal. Like, he made himself right. more noticeable, right. like one hundred percent. Oh, Greg, you talking Kenobi. about the nigga with the right, regular name? I got name? it. I got it. I'm gonna go as LeBron <laughs> Kenobi. Yeah, <laughs> man, <laughs> Ben Quadraneros yeah. right there. This is this is who he was talking about. This is oh, yeah, that's yeah. a Jersey yeah. councilman yeah. for sure. For sure. Yeah. It looked like if the <laughs> for sure. He looks like if the Noid grew up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. The Noid like aged. Yeah. Damn. It's sad. Damn. Yo, speaking of like fascists versus liberals in the nation state. Speaking of that. This speaking Ukraine, of that. This Ukraine Russia shit. I mean, bro. That was that was uh quite something to wake up to. I, I think you were the one who informed me, like indirectly by reading your post <laughs> Yo, last night. Yeah. Like, hey. I mean, I found out in just about the worst way. Yeah. How'd just, you find out? I found out. I tweeted, hey, yo, my special drops in eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and yo, and then like, uh, the and then somebody yo. was like, uh, I don't know if you heard the news, but yeah, we're going to be up. Yo. <laughs> and then, but then afterward, I was like, okay, there's a war starting and also my special drops at noon. So <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's a good special though that we were there. No, he got some great jokes off. Hey, thank I'm, you. Yeah, I saw the shit. Babe. Hey, look. But thank a you. War. A, a Tough. war. A little Tough. war. She's gonna she's gonna steal a show. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. You're yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Yo, you think that's bad? Did you see the weekend's tweets? Yeah, I did see those. Why is the weekend tweeting? So I'm I'm literally I'm doesn't fresh, he, I'm doesn't fresh he on sing? everything. So I'm just <laughs> good. I'm looking. What for you? Oh, oh, for you. This is bo- this is before oh the invasion. He goes, it's oh finally my- here. It's time <laughs> tomorrow. Me and my man's Putin. <laughs> Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. Unfortunately, I'm just. <laughs> 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 What I'm is it, saying Dawn that FM Deluxe or something. Your little no. hiccup with your special pales. In oh yeah, no, bed. this is nowhere near as bad. <laughs> like the fact, like the fact that he, it's like he had foresight, like he knew. Yo, before he I'm knew. like, yo, at it's least finally here. It's too. funny right. because, like, too, like his music with the like driving synths and like the eighty shit kind of sounds like the soundtrack. <laughs> That's to the Russian soundtrack to it in the eighty right. way. So like, right. yo. Yeah, At least I was specific with my shit. I was like, my special. This nigga's like, hey, just anything is coming. Who knows? Look out. Look out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, no. Some Russian like paratrooper is definitely listening to blinding lights. Like, oh, my yeah. God. Like, I can't say what, but something's on the way. See, I've just seen stuff of just like smoke in the distance or like crazy shit of like, I don't know if you've seen it, but like fighter jets flying and, yeah. and missiles going. But are there people like on the ground? I guess. I mean, there's yeah. actual troops. Yeah, yeah. And there's been like yeah. skirmishes in different locations. I'm still sort of in the dark because I, mean, I, I sort yeah. of got blindside blindsided by it yeah. today. Right. It, is, it started last night. It technically, started last night, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I right. opened CNN and it just said Russia invades Ukraine. And it's like, wow. yeah. I, mean, I just was, yeah. all I saw Ooh. was. I'm I'm like the least educated on this as of now. Right. But right. the only news I really saw was that Ukraine uh whacked a hundred Russian niggas. I heard it was Yo. the other and way around. I just was like, for first quarter <laughs> That's great. That's I, I mean, thought it was the other way that's around. Kobe no. Bryant numbers, to be right? Right. About a hundred motherfuckers. Like, I mean, did, was it I that though? This, I read this morning that forty Ukrainians had died, but also that could that could also be true. I think I, both of I those saw things the, are I saw the rooters like yeah they yeah. a hundred they wow. put up a hundred on them. I mean like, bro triple I saw, digits. like this I was listening to uh, uh, Popular Front and they said like 
they just letting every Ukrainian nigga just go get a gun, just do, yeah. just go mobilize right now. I think anarchists is mobilizing, just everybody, everybody. across the board. Yeah. Everybody's on the move. It's not a very big country. No, yeah. it's pretty small. It's what like, is like what like if we put Ukraine like side by side, like what's a si- what's the size comparison? Like maybe like Wyoming. Wyoming. I'm thinking of one of those square states. Maybe Colorado. One of them square yeah. fuckers. Yeah. Who knows? And that's crazy because I mean, like if Canada invaded tomorrow, there's people. Oh yeah. There's people on the border of America who would obliterate that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we smack the shit out of Canada. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trudeau. Say, like that's not, them countries that look like that. They be fooling you, man. Like people out there are ready to fucking go. Mm. Yeah, yeah, right. ready. Yeah, I don't even know like why they're doing it. I'm assuming it's for some sort of body of water or. I mean, it's just fucking imperial. Just to have shit. shit. Yeah, just this straight is up imperial. It. Same, like no reason. Same it's, colonial, neo-colonial projects going on. Right. The only difference is, you know, they have a lot of what we would call soft power. Yeah. So they have, I guess, cult- culturally and also in, in terms of the geopolitical alliances they've made, they, they're they able to manipulate and confuse people, mm-hmm. relative, especially ethnocentric people who don't really talk to people outside of the US mm-hmm. right? about what, what is actually happening right? Yeah. over there. Yeah. And we obviously see that a lot on full display. Yeah, it's like it's, yeah, we have a claim on this land because we uh, had a claim on it when we were uh, when we already conquered them years ago. So yeah, so when so we invaded come back. you a hundred years ago. So like you were ours, this. you were part of our and this uh, like Russia. You know? yeah. So it's just basically like and their blood excuse, and soil. It is resources, right? And it's like con. It's yeah. conflicts and tensions baked into the nation state model. It's inherent to the nation state model, right? You know, so yeah, there's particulars in terms of Russia's interest in the region that we could talk about all day long. And we but the right. fundamentals are But the, yeah, the same right. basic yeah. thing it's is that play. Yeah. expand the business. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. right. I mean, what it's about. Yeah. And now right. it's time. We're doing a merger right. with Ukraine. It's kind of a one-sided thing. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be getting rid of the human rights division of that company. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, we're just downsizing the general. Yeah, the, uh, the yeah. LGBTQ departments, we're, yeah, we're going to be downsizing. We're going to be downsizing. <laughs> right. We're going to have to furlough the uh, human rights department and the, uh, yeah, yeah. The, you know, the it's concept. A, it's of a Ukraine. lot of like, I've seen a lot of very crazy takes on oh Twitter. God. And it's like, out of a bad situation, a lot of stuff gets put on full display. Uh-huh. Right, mm-hmm. where you're He's, like idiots, because you know a lot of times it's like ass. you just yeah you just seeing like the bad takes on history or the bad uh-huh. takes on like some stuff that could happen or maybe happen or whatever. And now yeah. it's like right. this is a clear example <laughs> mm. right. uh-huh. of a thing. It's, right. right, right. This it's a duck of in the middle of the table, right. and somebody go, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that I is. Know, I don't know what that but, is. Right. But man, I wish America and NATO didn't Bro, make this duck happen. Right. It's like we talking about this. What are you talking? We're thinking of the same tweet, I think. Yeah, the same and it's fucking like, tweet. It's, it's, it's a multiple. It's multiple. It's but many. It's specifically a, that. Yeah, it's a those words. words. Here's what I always point out. It's one subconsciously uh, assuming that the nation state and the state model is legitimate. That's not even yeah. necessarily mm-hmm. spoken or conscious. It's just like assumed. Right. And then the second thing is you end up talking about nation states like they're your homie. Right. Or a basketball team. Bro, they don't Uh know you. Right. (laughs) Right. I just feel like Russia is just really trying really hard right now. Right. I've heard people say that like about China. Mm -hmm. Right. They they're speaking at that level about people say that about lebron (laughs) (laughs) i just feel like they're trying really hard right now you gotta you gotta keep in mind he's 37 so he's not really in his full it's the playoffs you know russia is activated okay right right that's a huge thing though because it like it confuses the whole conversation right like if you're sitting there saying all nation states are illegitimate and coercive and authoritarian and bullshit and Mm -hmm. fucked up that includes the U.S. Right. Sure, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That's like sure. and European nations and all of that. Then but you have so much more clarity when you look at these kinds of things. You see it for what uh-huh. it is. You see that right. humans are caught in between. Yeah. They're, They're not just not caught in between. Yeah. Despite this, 
or you know, right. cut, it's cutting up your nose to spite your face. Nah, type right. Shit. And right. Like, but you always got the niggas like, uh, uh, being anti China is actually xenophobic. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's like, like, and it's yo, like, I'm pro Ch- Chinese workers, I'm pro Chinese, you know, people, poor working bro, class like the people. people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The people. Right. Right. Yeah. I feel like this might dead for at least a period of time. A lot of that. Oh, one hundred percent. I feel like bro, people are gonna I don't know. Say, I don't know. It's, it's, bro, it's, it's, yeah. so, it's so no. That's how, I, that's how I feel. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. But I feel like having it on full display is better than it being couched in. Because mm. when stuff like this happens, and I'm sure that this is gonna lead to other shit happening, maybe in the region, maybe over here, whatever. Yeah. Right. But when that shit is on full display and not couched back. When stuff like that happens, people want answers. Yeah. And they it, it pushes people left. And sometimes right. it pushes people right. And when mm-hmm. people get pushed left, and the first thing they see in their face is right. a dumbass. Right. Right. And someone openly correcting them and they go, Okay, this is open book. I know which way my compass right. should be leaning. Right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A I lot mean, of that, this shit does happen time. for people seeing other people get roasted and being like, Oh, I kind of felt that way too. You know, yeah. right. And just kind right. of adjusting. Right, internal right. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah right right that's the type of shit that kept me away from this shit for so long is just because people were talking all this like pro stalin shit pro chinese government type shit and yeah. i was just like okay if that's what it is then that's not what the fuck that's I not what be. i want yeah you know what I mean? yeah and that's there great was, if you if never. you want that great good for you that's yeah. not what i want that's right so and that's me away I from wanna, it for and i would wager time. i would wager most people don't want that right yeah right. No. so but they also don't see another option they see like right that's it they and see like i'm i'm right. either on the right or i'm or i'm this or and right these here, niggas yeah. are supporting right. shitty government so i got my shitty right. governments to support mm-hmm. that's what i meant by the nation state yeah it can automatically confuses it like the whole conversation yeah because if it's like these false dichotomies like you look at the shitty yeah. you know status quo here and then go let me let me explore something different and then you're yeah. met with nation states mil- mil- militaries workerism mm-hmm. right you're gonna yeah. work hard right yeah. you're gonna work hard you're, you're not, gonna have a hard <laughs> ball you're not digging you're not digging in you're just right. like slapping another sticker right onto a very very massive problem right and then going i did it Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, yep. Right. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I can get why people like would feel satisfied of another nation state putting pressure or making America looking looking course, bad. Right. Like I sure. get that hundred right. percent. Same. It's hilarious right. that like China is just so much more productive than our right. country sure. in every right. single fucking right. way. It's right. hilarious. Across right. the world. But it's like you're just that's just like a uh, a, a husband and wife, a parents. You're you're not looking at the, what what is happening to the kids, you right. Know, sort of right? Right. It's like okay, right. maybe the husband's abusive or whatever, and the wife's getting in, you know, whatever. But like the kids are the ones. It's that like are yeah. it's so, like niggas right. genuinely and without irony picking a side in the Kanye and Kim. Abused his cousin who stole right. a laptop, and you're like, right. okay, well right, maybe right, Kim right. shouldn't ha- shouldn't have a uh, TikTok for her daughter. The maybe kids, she- yeah. right? The kids. Once right. right. you look past both of these people, what's being happening closer to the ground? The ground right? Yeah, those are the people being hurt by. The, the situation yeah. right. Going, right. and who we need to be like you know what I'm saying right. it's the same shit and what's the through line people just want to be left the fuck alone they yeah. want to live their mm-hmm. lives they want to be comfortable they just want to have food yep. clothing nah, that's, that's like, not spend... going to be productive enough I'm sorry right yeah, yeah. productive that's... forces need to go up yeah, yeah. Right. I mean gotta, <laughs> right. gotta get in the gears yeah. man. right in the yeah. but that's the that's the through line and so when we just are assuming that the authoritarian shit nah that's just that's how it goes. No right. matter which way you slice it, we got to have a daddy. It's yeah, like, for sure. We <laughs> got to have daddy. I mean, my like, daddy. Somebody got to save me. Like, what's yeah. the value of being well-fed if you're not Russian? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you're not housed under this imperial uh, mm-hmm. banner, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what does it mean? What is the, what just, is the value right. of it? It's right. an imagination thing. I genuinely yes. think people just don't even think there's... And I, it's like, you can't well, blame them to a degree, but it's like, they literally don't think there's another option. Yes, they don't think right. there's, any of, yeah. there's any sort of, there's any sort of insurgent theoretical sort of route strategically. It's like a motherfucker coming things. up to you going like, yo, dude, <laughs> figured out that I have a problem. I got to stop drinking. 
Bud Light. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have yeah. to switch to Natty. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, man, you can dream a little. You could have a Sazerac. Right. Like a, right. like, you can yeah. make, or, or you could just stop drinking altogether. Right. Like, you could just get rid of the issue. Don't make like, non-alcoholic shit. Don't make non-alcoholic shit. <laughs> right. Yeah, Fucking, just, maybe just drink water. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes you ask for the non-alcoholic shit, they throw some extra spice in there because they know it's not going to fuck you up. Some little, right, throw right. some extra flavor in there. Some toss in a jalapeno. Like how Z drinks kombucha and gets fucked up from it. Even <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bourbon like he's yeah. that tree from Ocarina of Time just I, speaking. <laughs> I saw Z punch a hole in a wall off up kombucha. kombucha. Yeah. <laughs> fucked up off the booth. Yo. In a wife beater. Oh, <laughs> Just telling lies now. Uh, we just uh, telling this lies. nigga left his whole family. I was saying God. he's got enough sounds in there. He could be like Bumblebee from Transformers, just only speaking <laughs> yes. radio clips. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Ah, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. hella shit in here. Yo. Oh, Yo, but how was uh, you know playing New York? When was the last time you played New York? Uh, last last time I played here was doing stand up over at um, what's the spot over in Brooklyn? That's like it looks like a big old brewery. Oh, uh, was it Bell, not public? Bell House. House? Bell House. Bell House. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was Bell House. Yeah, it's dope, man. I love New York. New York is like was I feel it? like it's the spot to come like test a lot of shit because everybody's yeah. so baseline chill here yeah and it's was hard that, to get any was reactions. that your last show here or was it the one with kenny it was the one with kenny i lied yeah, yeah central mm-hmm. park yeah which was really cool yeah that was, that was a dope show that was a dope ass show yeah. yeah i feel like people that that was different than a new york show it felt not like a new york show it felt like what LA. was that yeah. event was they it like do a like a con- summer was it like a festival it's like a summer concert series they yeah do yeah. Central park. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah and they had kenny just bring out a bunch of people and it was like it was pretty ridiculous. Yeah. That's cool. How do you feel yeah. about Brooklyn? Like, in general, as a concept? <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. That's all right. That's all right. I just wanted an excuse to play that. <laughs> I knew you did. Right. I can say bullet Let me fly. just say yeah. this. I, I mean, feel like... Let nah, me just say this. I feel like we 100% got to get into that. Yo. Yeah, yeah. And I, ha- I have it. Like, I have it right here. Wow, oh wow. So I want to I wanna give context for this. This has been this has been an inside joke between me and my brother for like years. Mm-hmm. Um and then I feel like we started joking about it two yeah, two years some ago, some probably. some amount of years ago. <laughs> and then Catatonic Use finally posted it. it. Yeah, yeah, found it and posted it in the last year or so. And it's kind of bl- has it blown up? Or I don't just, think I so. Haven't seen it. I didn't Not see on this. YouTube. It only yeah. has 550,000 views. Okay. Yeah. But if you search worst rap battle on YouTube, it it's like the second up. result. It's like, we know what you want. Yeah. And just for anyone watching who hasn't seen this, we're just going to let this fly because Zach and I quote this all the time. Daily. Yeah, mm. regularly. I'm sorry, little kids, but I'm going to kill a clown today. I could say bullets are going to spray. I'm from Brooklyn. That's all right. But <laughs> let me just say, I like to get close and personal. With a razor sharp object. But let me just say this. I'm not gonna stab you in the heart. What I'm gonna do is grab a pen, stab you in the neck, punch your lungs, then slam a blunt object into your stomach. Fuck. Fuck. Yo. Blunt object into your stomach. Cause internal bleeding. <laughs> now, before you die, let me just say this. Before, before you, you die, the reason I call myself snuff is because I take my time to rhyme. I'm not complicated. complicated. But not complicated. I'm like a sniper. Not. I aim not straight for the heart or the head. head. I'm straight and direct. I might hide two Ks that way. <laughs> You'll know when I hit you as soon as you hit the ground. No. <laughs> but this guy said some shit on Facebook. Here we go. Joke of the Dark Knight shit. So don't let me go all James Holmes on you, Dark Knight shooter. Is that a little bit too soon? Oh, and let me just say this as Is well. That a little bit if too you want to be the Joker, why don't I give you a bottle of pills, a Chelsea, Chelsea smile, <laughs> and instead of Heath Ledger dying, why don't you replace well, his, his death? death. Yeah. Because nobody would give two shits about a guy who looks like a fucking meth head. It's the calmest Yo. killer clown. Yo. Ever. Couldn't even couldn't even get off the last Bro. part of that bar. Right. Well, this oh is my, my God. part. 
this dude is horrible too. But yeah. compared to him, like when he comes in, it's like, okay, baseline, he can rap. Yeah, look at this one black crazy. dude. This one black dude in the background, like, he's <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I doing here? Yeah. Like, oh I am my in God. New Zealand oh. right now. How oh. you got a battle rap with bullet points? The dude who was standing Literally, next to him the whole time was just yeah. like, he wanted to break so bad. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Everyone's wearing like a ball cap and like and Oakleys and like, hip hop, right? Because outside of the U.S., that's like that's it. It's a lifestyle and it's a look M&M. and it's a, right. an aesthetic, right? It's honestly it's crazy, kind of dope. <laughs> it's like, craziest if I've ever came seen it. out with that and actually was like killing it, but just had right. on a gray Hanes hoodie and <laughs> <laughs> the, the Oakleys. I, I, I would right. be like, yeah. I feel like that's how Hobson dresses. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, this Russia Ukraine shit might force like mm. culturally mm. like more bubbling pockets of like creativity and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And we're like, I feel like a weird ass Ukrainian kid is gonna like come out and make. Yeah, some we're gonna solid get like a fire. new strain 100%. of mid we've never had before. <laughs> culturally. <laughs> like, mid is going to evolve. <laughs> Oh, you like Reggie? <laughs> right. Here's some right. more. Yeah. Here go that Reginald. Yeah. Proper Reggie. <laughs> like you're going to be like, how is this music so mid? It's like more <laughs> mid than anything I've ever heard. But like, <laughs> yes, but I feel like that's what whiteness, not like, I know I'm talking about Eastern Europe, but whiteness in America kind of needs that reboot. Mm. And like, I feel like one thing that, white rappers and white musicians have been so bad at is using the opioid crisis as a catalyst to just to make say, better art to say we got we have struggle or whatever nigga yeah it's right <laughs> it's there. right there yeah mm-hmm. like crack happened and no one can argue that black mm-hmm. art didn't just like skyrocket Catapult. Mm-hmm. because yeah. of that shit right and right now it's like i would say ye- i would say yeet is an example of it. Is he white? He's Latinx. Yes, right? for, he? for all intents and purposes. For all intents. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's a white. He's, he's white. white pass. We're just consulting with the white man here. Uh, 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 he is white. Uh, okay. I can't all confirm right. as a white man. He looks white. I think me. he's like half Mexican, half Albanian. So oh, that's, two, that's two possible. <laughs> that's two possible so, whites. What? Yeah. Yeet he's is an action like, Bronson type. Yeet is like uh, when it's just like. You're you're like a cartoon character from doing so many perks and Molly. Yeah, you're like a yeah. you're like goofy. You're silly. Yeah. <laughs> I think he says I feel silly. Or, yeah, yeah. But it's it's not funny. Like I, <laughs> I like drugs. I like sex. I like money. Like, <laughs> yeah. You're acting like you don't know all the words. He knows right, all, right, yeah, that's right, a, right. No, that's the funny thing is I'm like mentally like cannot remember lyrics for anything so it's right. a miracle that i can learn even like five seconds of a song right this mm-hmm. is when it's so. your people but what? i guess so yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> no not, no even. <laughs> not even not even <laughs> like yeah. yeet, yeet to me right now feels like what corn was in a way i can see he's kind yeah. of a like new metal a little bit he's new metal. Yeah, yeah 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 i've what loved, would you say is his freak show. on a leash um, I would I would have to say you know more than me. Huh? Yeah, no, I'd, I'd probably he's been, say he's been he's on been been the E train like, for a minute. Oh, I yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I, feel like I think a, we have like yet to see the real impact of you. To me, he's like a, for a, sure. a kind of a pop smoke where it's like he just right. created his own sound. Right, right. Yeah, and right. Uh, yeah. and I'm also worried stages. from the same. That's the other thing is like what sets him apart is that he I. Tr- he really does rap about everything he he actually does everything he raps mm-hmm. about. Right. Um he for does better every drug that he raps about. <laughs> I mean he really he really does. Um right. you know. Uh and I love how uh he shits on just the concept of other people's music. Like he doesn't call anyone out, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but he's like, We just laughing at your music, you a joke. Like he'll just, he'll just be so mean. It's like who are you talking about? Dude? Yeah, and it's like right. definitely a guy that's just trying to sound two percent like him right. right um i don't know maybe it's sorry about that i don't know okay. i think right as of I, now uh, yeah that's yeah. but i think one. that would be like saying like uh that'd be like saying um what you call it by cardi in new oh. york i'm millie rock oh, oh yeah. fucking uh magnolia magnolia yeah, right. it'd be like saying that that was his free it's like yeah. too, early right. to too early to call yeah i guess yeah. Yeah. too early right. to call right but um no, it's it's crazy. He had like the number one album, and it's like yeah, uh, 
I remember seeing him in August of last year, and it was like, I think the YouTube video for that, the song was already turned. Now here's a bell. That song, right, uh, right. That yeah. song had like a hundred thousand views on YouTube. So it was like, right. it's pretty meteoric rise, which is why yeah. I think he's like pop smoke. But I'm also worried because he does do a lot of drugs for real, and he's literally, if you're listening, being like, I am having Percocet withdrawals. I'm right. worried about this guy. Right. Yeah. So much but health like, and, and good fortune right. for, for someone to like bait like base their sound off of something like cardi's which i mean so many rappers did mm -hmm. and have for so many years but for him to do it in this like he speaks more to the time we were we are in right. like globally right yeah. than cardi does like cardi mm -hmm. perfected his sound but ye like i listen to him and i'm like this is what Eastern right block. This is where we're at. This right. is where we're at. This is where right. we're at. Right, right, it's right. not. No, it's a he's complete like a time synthesis. Capsule. He's not the best rapper technically or anything, but he is the one like Ralph Waldo, em Waldo Emerson was speaking on his time. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you can read an Emerson book and be like, wow, right. that's. I feel like I'm there. You can read. You can read Gil Scott Heron and be right. like, "That's the '60s and '70s." Right. I listen yeah. to Heat and I'm like, "You got that's it. right now. You that's got dark." It. James yeah. Baldwin. That's very you dark. got Baldwin. Like Baldwin, Warhol, Yeet. Yeet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right. No, it's wild. Um, but I wish you know him and his family and, and loved ones <laughs> safety, <laughs> safety and prosperity. Even, even his visuals, like the the green, like dilapidated metallic slime. Right. aesthetic like yeah. you're like yeah. peeling back layers of like a computer server that has like flesh in it like all his art is hella like yeah he's no like, he's really he's trippy like, he's plugged um, in and drugged up yeah, yeah. no he's right. see, you, yeah. you take mushrooms you understand this shit completely 100 percent. okay 100%. all right it's sick okay. I'm, I'm telling you 100%. all right it sounds like uh, yeah. it sounds wild um yeah. but yeah that's the other thing is like he just named himself yeet because he knew that people would have that the in their head as right. like a familiar name mm -hmm. right he's very he's very simple i think he's only been rapping for like a couple years too like two years how old is he he's like, like 21 20. years old that's the other weird thing is like i'm yeah. a 27 year old grown man right. and i'm like this guy's incredible yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait for him to uh, graduate it's college it's right oh uh, it's a weird <laughs> time right. to be yeah it's like to okay. be a rap fan right now yeah. fucking like, lingo <laughs> pissy yonky <laughs> yeah. he said Did he's he gonna name his first child schmunky Really? He's silly. Yeah. Yo, Bro, he's twizzy. That's a, silly person. That's a good. Yeah. Name. That's a good name for. I like to see. On... I'd like to see him collab with Tisa Korean. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah. That's what I would like to see. Oh, They'd yeah. make it an entire it would shatter. language. That's a tour. That's yeah. like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to see their ebony and ivory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. What is what is that right. version for them? Dude. Yeah, I think uh, he he posted on his story. He said number one album in the world, like Taylor Swifter. <laughs> He loves that's adding dope. ER at the end of things. That's right. Nah, that's right. hard. That's yeah. Dope. yeah. You're a capper. <laughs> yeah, he, he says, um, oh, that's hard. Yeah. I fuck with that. Something about every time I open my DMs, it's a new topper. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. You know. Like for a bed? Like what No, yeah. like top a like mattress, a mattress top. topper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've I've deconditioned, deprogrammed uh, myself yeah. to the Yo. point that I don't <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no. I got Casper on speed dial. Yeah. He keeps getting <laughs> IG ads. It's a Casper. purple mattress. Right. <laughs> I was just talking about that he's other day. I got a new topper. Yeah. He's finally it's a swiping new past IG ads. Right, yeah. right, right. Which are getting insane. Oh, oh my God. It's the mattress ads? No, yes. IG ads. It's just, it's like people who can <laughs> I was gonna be like, muster up $4. You, you, you guys are getting the mattress ads too? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's crazy, right? Here's what's scary about them. How right they're getting. Mm. No, oh, yeah. no. They're it's, in my fucking mind, bro. They go that so raven like they're ahead of you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Dog, yeah. you you get what I'm saying? Yes, they know what I'm gonna want right. to wear in two yeah. days. It's in two hour. years, bro. In two right. like <laughs> two years, right? It's it's out of it's out of control. Yeah, yeah, if I start getting like Russian memorabilia on my shit, Russian flags, I'm bro. gonna be like, what Ooh. the fuck is this? That's a good yeah. test. We should all like after this open IG and just see what's yeah. up in there. Yeah. See what's up, because they definitely they listening and and taking note.
right now. So, like, we heard you mention toppers. Um, <laughs> in Russia. Yeah. Here's a Would Russian like topper. <laughs> Here's a Jar Jar Binks mattress topper. <laughs> <laughs> we right. think you might like some Jar Jar Binks military surplus jeans. <laughs> right, uh, right, right. <laughs> I'm going to get an IG ad for Connor's yeah. Jar Jar Binks chair he was sitting in. Right, right. With the right. right. It's going to be an eBay listing. Dude, if you like took Jar Jar's, like, skin texture and, like, made those into, like, cargo pants, that would be hard. Right. <laughs> yeah. I remember, actually, as Yo, a kid being like, that's kind of how my shit looks <laughs> with my <laughs> like, my freckles oh my and shit. God. Some Jar Jar Binks Rick Owens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, the, ear, yeah. the ears, the Yo. web ears. On the yeah. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I mean, the, the Balenciaga sneakers are kind of Jar Jar aesthetic, like, the, the curvature of yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You yeah. see Kanye at that show, he was wearing, like, Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein gloves like walking around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the monster mash. <laughs> this is yep. the monster mash. <laughs> like, I saw the yo. picture of him with Rick and then was it Marilyn Manson? No, it was Rick and Pusha T. Oh, Pusha oh, T. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. clapped up Manson. He's wow. bringing yeah, in all he the, like, the yeah. he's just bringing just in all, all the, the woman beaters and, yeah. and rapists and Bro, he's saying, he's, come, come to me. The church of Kanye is sick. Well, that's, Bro. no, you said church, right? He thinks that that's actually mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-hmm. So he's yeah. like, you know, all the sinners can come to me yeah. <laughs> and repent. Right. But there's no repentance. It's just, no, right. it's just, all the sinners can come to me yeah. and my album's coming out. And, and look, I'm going to raise Marilyn Manson's career from the dead. I, right. just, I, <laughs> already did. I want yeah. his boots to just keep getting bigger. So it's like yeah. two kitchen, <laughs> to, the, the, to, kitchen yeah. the kitchen size trash can. Yeah, yeah it's just that you have next to the counter. He just, uh, just looks like a Roblox character. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Hey, yeah. So he can't right, right. wear pants anymore? I want anymore. them to get wider this way. <laughs> no, I want them to go up. Like they, they cut it through the middle so it doesn't go up his crotch and it just... Goes, goes up. like right. like poles, mm. right? Yeah. <laughs> so he's right. walking this like. And I want there like to be that. no uh, no toe or heel, right? Design. Oh, we're yeah, close. Right. It's a bo- it's a block. next fit is gonna be have stilts involved in it for sure. <laughs> yeah. right. He's he's gonna be rocking stilts yeah. at one of oh, the, yeah. for yeah. sure. Oh yeah. The welcome to the circus. <laughs> 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 That's the next tour. It's just right. gonna be welcome to the circus. <laughs> I, 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 I can't verify if it's real, but I saw a headline that he's going to Russia. What? No. To meet with Putin? No. <laughs> and I need you to, can someone with so internet? When, and I, I'll look no. it up. I'll look it up. Okay. If, right. you can well, leave if it he pulls right. up to Putin with like looking like a vampire with contacts and <laughs> wearing all black. A vampire oh. with two trash cans on his feet. <laughs> Putin yeah. about to be on Donda too. Bro. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. On... Kanye reportedly plans to meet with Putin. Oh my God. Stage Sunday. Hold up. Damn. Bro. World War Three is gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yo, He's gonna got... accidentally cause it. <laughs> For we real. gotta talk about rich black people meeting with dictators, bro. Oh man. What? Like Dennis Rodman was oh, on this right. shit. Oh, Kanye. they updated it. They, it was clickbait, and oh, and then they said they put a dash, and then said, but Ye Rep says it's fabricated. Update. Man. Now yeah, I want him, now I want him to do the they meeting. Now spanked. I want him to follow the writer who went with that is they getting, getting their ass Yeah, whooped. they getting spanked. They in a headlock right, right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 it's already tense. Right. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Yo. But the fact that He's going to do it. The now fact that, that it's not he's going to do it. That that's not even questionable from our st- we see right. that and it's like Right. No, yeah, that, that sounds weird. true. That sounds that could happen. Right. They'd sit down and record it with a translator. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and then Putin would just Putin would just be like, Wait, waiting on the Yo. Russia translation invoice from Kanye's team is crazy. Right. Being like, right. they still haven't paid me for translating that Putin shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. I feel like now I right. want him to do the meeting. Like at least do a Zoom call or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now they getting Just intern like, translators to do yeah. all of that. If you're late labor. for the Putin meeting. Right. Be right. with God. Follow right. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't even show up. Kanye I wouldn't want to see the beginning of their convo or the end. I would just want to walk in like dead in the middle. Mm-hmm. Right, and just hear Kanye saying like, and you got to think about it in the way of like Pokemon, right? You know what I'm right. saying? Like yeah. how there was a, right. first there was 150, and then they <laughs> kept incrementally added. Like I just want to see where he's right, at. right. At yeah. first it was like they was adding 100 at a time, and then the numbers just got all random. Now it's at like 400, and now you play one, and you can't even play to all of them. So why'd you make all of them? Right, and that's why I became <laughs> the Gap creative director. Right, it right. used to be the Elite Four was like the elitist because when and now the way now you jumps, got all these other niggas what's going on the i know i know you know about power putin 
but I made the song power. Right. <laughs> and I have power too. I'm just saying. Yeah, him holding up an iPhone to Putin's ear while he just sits there completely unamused. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Demo track. Where he's like, right. <laughs> <laughs> but he hasn't put even lyrics to it yet. <laughs> <laughs> the mumble kind of shit. Right. Yeah, right. Fuck. Fuck. Just, right. It just pisses me off because it's like shit is that dystopian that I right. I can literally see Easy. all of this shit happening. Right. No, we really are entering into uh, a fascist aesthetic, sort of like like I don't know that Kanye shit is fascist as hell to me. Yeah. 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 Just you talking about just the aesthetic his of fashion, his show, Balenciaga, and all that shit. It's brutalism very, oh, yeah. is literally like yeah. Ain't brutalism literally? Like yeah. Fascist no, it's just architecture type shit. Like yeah. No, it's, it's is that definitely right? coming back. No. I mean, it's, right? co- it's, co- it's connected to that history mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. USSR. I mean, it's called brutalism. Right. I mean, right. <laughs> brutalism. It's not called Fair. <laughs> brutalism, you know, rigidity, workerism. Yeah. Right, right. Make yeah. the factor, streamline the factories and the towns for yeah, productivity. What was that shit Constructionism or constructivism. Right, yeah. right. That, that yeah. shit, yeah. yeah. Right, Which right, is right. quite horrifying. Damn. Yeah. Is that camera good, by the way? Yeah. Is yeah, it good? I it. I it. Is oh, it okay. good? You like that? That's kind <laughs> no, of like our, that in our here, go-to like test it's to see right. if that's working. It's okay. It's just... How do you like the smell? Is it good? Yeah. How do you like the smell? Is it good? Does it smell good, good enough, enough for you, you in there? there? Yeah. And I simply said, due to feces, <laughs> there was due to feces thrown all, all over the walls, walls the floor, floor, the ceiling, and it stunk so bad. Like, but Michael, the children. <laughs> That doesn't explain why you slept with children, Mike. <laughs> right, right. Oh, it could. That interview could. Trauma. That'll that'll do. That'll that'll right. inform some creep shit for yeah. sure. Yeah, I watched I interviews like I think sharing a bed with someone is the most loving thing you can do. And it's I like, think at not that, like a pat on the back or like encouragement. Right. I also right. think at that period in Michael's career, his entire body was comprised of opiates. Mm. Uh-huh. And yeah. it was just—he like, was on cruise control. He was dog. fully automated. Oh, yeah. Just, have you ever seen the zoom in of his like little little peach fuzz though on that shit? No. Like, oh <laughs> man, like where no. you can what? see he has facial hair. No. Oh, can I man. Google this? Nar. Probably. Look up. Look up. Nar. 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 Probably find Michael Jackson bearded. Oh. Probably. We'll we'll do it. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. It's freaky. That's his face looks like it's like waxed every morning. Right. Did he um, ever like just like pay for a kid's education? I feel like he could stay right. there. Ooh, ooh. Right. He real yeah. I've never you seen know. him hang out with a with a parent. <laughs> <laughs> like I've never seen him like consult with a parent Connect about how to raise another children. Dad, right. Right. Yeah. Right. The joy Bruh. of having oh, children. Oh man. It's coming. Nah, he kind of oh, swagged I mean, with that shit it. though. I'm not it's coming. Lie. It's coming through. It's coming. Nah, you can it's see giving. it. It's <laughs> You see it. Ooh, it's that's giving. what I feel like he's giving peach. Ooh. It's giving peach. Nigga, you can fit a charger block in his cheekbone. Like. <laughs> yeah. The joy wow. of having children. I think this might be up there with my favorite Michael. Yeah. Oh my God. This yeah. is my favorite Michael era, I think. A little beard action. A little beard yeah. action. He's got, the, he's got the uh yeah, the cheekbones are crazy. I don't There's know if that's a, You know that photo not. shoot he did around this era? Which and one? it's like him hitting like the crazy like Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Poses like yeah. this. That was my favorite era. Yeah. Right. He was like very endearing. I remember like shit. Michael Jackson's how yeah, my right. dad explained what pedophilia was to me. <laughs> Bo. Because I was just like, what the fuck is going on with him? And he's like well, some people like to, uh, you know, like, right. like, that was Damn. wild. And then he, you know, in Scary Movie 3, I don't remember how that opens, but he's like, oh, yeah. he's like a monster in that he's movie. He's like under the sheet. And Charlie yeah. Sheen beats him up yeah. in the beginning. Um, yeah. Of all the people that could have beat up Michael Jackson, imagine Charlie right. Sheen. Charlie the real Sheen. monster. Yeah. Did he have squabbles? I, no. I believe he has. I don't believe he could. I you believe he's, he whooped somebody ass? I believe he's been in fights, but I don't think he won any of them. Mm. I think he would get folded like a lawn chair. <laughs> really? Yeah, you punch that yeah. big ass chin one time, he's probably going down. I mean, yeah. fuck the chin, the torso. Just right. it would just shatter. <laughs> you don't think like, like you don't think he got some He like, might have a kick in him. I feel like he, he might have move. a he might, he might he have some move. kicks. He can move. I'm saying nah. he could lift the leg those and kicks, and tap your face with his foot. Yeah, those kicks are just aesthetic. But if you hit mm-hmm. the the core He's shattering. I feel like, like a he, glass wall. He's built it depends like, on who he's fighting. He's built like Samuel L. Jackson in that M. Night Shyamalan movie. 
pull, yeah. pull up the Michael Jackson. Made of glass. Glass. Yeah. glass man? What was it supposed I think it's just man. called glass. I think it's just called glass. <laughs> glass man. Glass man. <laughs> Damn. Glass man you see in where he, theaters this fall. You see where he fell down the stairs and he broke every bone in his body? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's Michael Jackson in a fight. Michael versus Prince, like who? Yeah. Oh, literally, Prince, 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 Prince is wanting. It's literally <laughs> called. It's literally. <laughs> it's called glass. Yeah, yeah I looked yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. Prince would do like the splits and then punch Michael in the nuts like Johnny Cage. I feel like Prince, one of them people, like he would do all the like super effeminate shit. But if he got in a fight, he would just fight like he's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> like it would be no like frills and funny shit. He would just straight up like. I mean, right. you we know say, about yeah. the basketball stories. I mean, right. yeah, we know exactly. So, yep. and the abuse. Um, <laughs> yep. Um, let's see here with Ooh. with MJ and Prince. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Damn. Prince is such a, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Prince is such a wild. Kid. You you know he was supposed to be in a what was it? Beat, beat it? I forget. He was supposed. Oh to yeah, he's like he's like he's I mean, like who's bu- who's butt are you touching? Oh yeah, he was like he's like he read the lyrics. He's like your butt is mine. And, uh, whose butt are you talking hey, about? Whose no, butt are you talking about? Not my butt. Not my butt. Mm-mm, not mm. Prince's butt. <laughs> so uh, that's that's you know something you got to protect your ass. You got to protect your ass. And this baseline. <laughs> you got a baseline protect your own butthole. Baseline, <laughs> baseline. Yeah. When you think about uh, self respect and security, it starts at the asshole. Mm-hmm. Spe- then you and work it builds out. To, yeah. Res- Yo. Self respect. Uh-huh. Speaking of, speaking Yo. of holes, he was telling me because I do this too, and I didn't know anyone else does this. And my girlfriend thinks it's like I'm a psychopath for doing it, but um, I rip nose hairs. <laughs> Oh, I do that too. Out of my nose. I do yeah. that too. No. Do you ever like hold uh-uh. up the That's lights? What I told him. No. Have you ever grabbed like like four of them? Dude, I yeah, I've what like the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-uh. And you're like, yeah. fuck. No, uh, what bad at my, my girl my girl thinks I'm insane. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like she scre- does your girl like scream when she sees you do it? Like it's more it's more she's more used to it now. So okay. it's just kinda like uh, Yeah. Something like that. I don't I, I don't know. No? No. Be who you are. <laughs> True. Like I'll let them go for a while. Yeah, just to get me, I got to do a it. point that's where just, I can. See, that's know how you do that. I'll let yeah. them go for a while yeah. just so I can get to a point where I can. That's gonna fuck our like you collect capillaries and our everything, nose up. Everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying to him. My skin is so sensitive that if I did something like that, it would just get infected in there. Damn, bro, I <laughs> can't relate. I, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I, I bet weak ass look. nose. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's really a maintenance thing for me. Weak ass orifices. So have you ever it's, gotten like waxings done, like a nose wax? Have you ever done a nose wax? I want to really bad. Have you? It's not it? that bad, and I have done it. Uh, in fact, I've done it many times. It's where yeah. they put, like, I've had my whole tip. back wax. Matter of fact, my Whoa, hairy ass. I've had my whole man. back wax. We went to fucking. You got the Sasquatch. Yeah, <laughs> we went to South Discount. Carolina, <laughs> and I was walking uh, around the beach with a freshly waxed back, smoking oh, a cigar. That you can sucks. imagine. When that salt, letting that, that, letting that, that, when that just, salt water air hits you, when that's, yeah. when that, it's <laughs> weird <laughs> having a UV back. rays just cook your ass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the hair was there to protect oh, you, yeah. Connor. Right? No, it yeah. was an overcast day. Yo. Oh, okay. Overcast. You got sunburnt to your core. Yeah. But yeah. having a smooth back when you're usually hairy is a wild feeling. The one was like. Yeah, you, you might take a shower and it might feel weird. But then what happens when the shit start growing back? You got buzz cut back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's soft. It honestly yeah, happens Your so back looks like a nun. Even... <laughs> you said what? The hair the hair on your head is different than the hair on your back. It's not going to be... No, it, it grew back like the, the, the hair is on Peter Parker's fingers in the movie where it's just like... Really? Yeah. That's so that oh. shit is thick at the base. Like it's not like no, it'll it'll you grow back probably back. thicker when you wax it. Probably he had buzz cut oh, back. Nah. That is wild. You yeah. got your, your back looking like a skinhead. Yeah. No, I'm I'm into waxing. I'm trying to get my perineum waxed, which is you got to be brave. But the gooch. Yeah, nah, the gooch bro. wax. I don't know, man. No, no. You don't know. No. I don't know. I can't do it. I'm trying to know. see how that is. Honestly, <laughs> I, I'll report I got, back. We got this podcast now, so I can. I, I feel know. like you I got, got thick gooch skin. 
Nah. If you can do the hair thing, that's what I'm saying. You I'm could probably get, you good. could get it waxed. I feel like it's just too much collateral damage. Possibly, we no, using man, that like, as a drop. Yeah, like I feel like I got thick gooch skin. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna drop that. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a strong gooch. gooch. Nah, it, it's freaky though when you get gooch your nose gooch waxed, gang, gooch just gang. seeing the cavern of your nostril just like completely bare. You see that red coming through with the blood and shit. Yeah. Sometimes you got the Yo. light shining from the side, and so it's. Yeah, 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 it's freaky. Yeah. Like when you hold a flashlight like, on the other side of your hand. Yeah, 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 I yeah. love that shit. Boy, when I was a kid, I was, boy, I was about that shit. <laughs> You're like, I'm Yo. practically a doctor. I'm actually <laughs> right now. being captured by the shit around you. Imagine that. Yeah, Yo. imagination and wonder mm -hmm. about the world. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to be on. Let me take MJ off the screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been having this whole convo with MJ <laughs> picks just yeah, like chilling. Sunglasses on, you're still wearing sunglasses. It's just ignorant. It's ignorant. Look at that. Wow, look at the look at what we've been referencing. <laughs> yeah, just that it's yeah. Ignorant. All the thumbnails of what we've been looking at is pretty unsettling. <laughs> Yeah, just having all that on like a cork board with like twine connecting all of them together somehow. <laughs> ben, Ben, what's his name? Oscar Bito? <laughs> Quadranero. Quadranero. Get it fucking the right, Zachary. Ben Damn. Quadranero. Get it fucking right. Two pictures of bearded Michael Jackson. Yaddle. 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 It sound like when you Yaddle. shoot a three. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Quadraneros goes down. <laughs> you were saying he's racist as fuck, though? Whoa. <laughs> or was bro, that someone see, else? No, he's see. just liberal as hell. He's just like oh, a big Hillary guy. He's the wildest yeah, nigga, bro. Yeah. You, like, <laughs> I've never met saying... somebody who will speak to your talents and then like immediately be like, and he beat women, right? <laughs> <laughs> bro, he was just talking about how good of a bass player he is. Bro. <laughs> hey, look, man. Can, yeah. we, look, can look, we finish man. out talking yeah. about how talented <laughs> man is yeah. first and then, yeah. hey, yeah. look, man. Hold on, that nigga hey. beat up babies, right? Hey, <laughs> man. Patriarchy. Man, I think you gotta yeah. love baby seals actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think that nigga started patriarchy, right? Yeah, right from his basement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, he's actually a werewolf, right? He's an <laughs> actual monster. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, this Chewy. That's yeah, Chewy. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. We're gonna, we're gonna grow that. The Chewy Chia, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How does this shit work? I, yeah, I didn't so realize good. it's literally chia seeds, like uh, yeah. chia pudding chia seeds. You yeah. make a paste out of the seeds, yeah. and then you kind of you Smear put it, it in a tray it's of kind water. Of a cum situation. You got to cum in this. Yeah, you got to. You got to. That's fill it up the magical you gotta, ingredient. You got to yeah. cream pie this thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That just got to be oozing yeah. out the top. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, won't, it won't work unless you do that. Yeah. Yeah. Fill up chewy. Yeah. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. That's where I draw the line. God damn. Yeah. That's oh, where I draw the line. Where do you draw the line? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line? Yeah, where on chewy do you the word, the, word, the, word, the word fill. fill cream up. pie and Chewbacca is why. <laughs> <laughs> Would you cream pie Chewbacca like if you had to? Man, if you blindfold me and I don't know what that yeah. shit is, it feels good. Yeah. Any of like oh. anyone from his race, a Wookie, yeah, a Wookie, any Wookie, Wookie. any Wookie, two people, yeah, any just Wookie. Oh yeah, that shit. Wookie. can you imagine yeah, what it looks like shaved, like without the hair? <laughs> I want the hair on it. Somewhere out there, there's some concept art of a naked oh, are you kidding me? Right. Of that predates deviant art the chewbacca right. rule 34 shit probably oh yeah somewhere out there there is a picture of a shaved wookie full of cum i feel like <laughs> okay there's a, there's right. definitely a, 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 okay. a, a 3d video of chewbacca fucking lois griffin <laughs> somewhere like the lois griffin Yo. yeah that is disgusting yeah. no that she came up in the side panel when i was on pornhub one time yeah. Oh my that's God. That's Chewbacca and Lewis Griffin? Yeah. Why is it that when I'm watching porn, it's like, this game will make you come in 30 seconds, but the game is like some dragon orc fucking like a anatomically yeah. impossible yeah. ass with like that's a why dick this long. Bro, I, every time I smoke, I click them. <laughs> <laughs> what the I never. Hell? <laughs> what yeah. the what hell? Every time I smoke, what is, I what's up? I don't, bro. The game pops up, and I For start, real? I start jacking up to it. Like, really? I start jacking yeah. up to it. You ever buy shit off the website? Because when I'm you high, ever... I just be like, 
like it takes me so long to get through the process of masturbation yeah. when I'm really? high. Yeah. Because I'm so I'm being so particular and then I'm like looking at the girl and I'm like Think about like what books she reads and shit. Like <laughs> right. That. I, start, right. Down, I start watching right. this shit like a movie when I'm high. Yeah. I like I'm like, I'm oh doing. wait, I can oh, yeah. fast forward. What the fuck am I yeah. doing? Yeah, I forget what I'm doing. So I see them ads. I'm like, fuck it, give me a virus. Oh thing. yeah. I don't care. Like, you just click the shit. It by, just uh, opens uh, up addictinggames.com. You start, <laughs> <laughs> start beating off. <laughs> Mini clip. You see like the blue alien from Mass Effect getting fucked like, yeah. above the Pornhub shop. Right. I'm, like, I'm clicking that. Right. I That's am going wild. to click that. I remember I got way too high in college and watching porn calmed me down because it allows your brain to get horny, which distracts you from, from being the high. Oh, yeah. It takes some of that blood so out. So if yeah. anyone's watching this and you're a little too high, just watch some pornography. Yeah. Watch some those pornography. ads, those ads, though, they're like it's like front row seat. I don't know that late stage capitalism particularly is a thing, but it's like oh, front yeah. row seat to late stage capitalism. The yeah. way that it's like they know the soft spots and then they, they just lead with that. It's so you know funny what happens when you take a human brain and desensitize it so much. It not getting, like not a getting dragon hard. fucking like a, yeah. a woman yeah. with an ass you know, twice the size right, of Right, it's body. it'll be like not getting hard enough, and then it's the orc and the dragon fucking. Yeah, like, yeah. You have to Bro, you know, that's why I only go for to Reddit for porn. Oh man, Reddit used to be hard for porn. This, Reddit this, used to yeah. have just like well, they, R slash boob. Yeah. They've R said, slash ass. It's amazing now. Now it's so really? specific. Yeah. Like your whatever your specific little thing is that you like seeing, there's mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of other people out there. Women. Yeah. They haven't cut like, that. See that. I just they go on there and look out. at gifts. Huh? <laughs> they haven't cut like censorship. They haven't cut that mm -mm. out no, or anything. No, no yeah. Reddit's okay. That's like the ra the racist, like neo Nazi right wing yeah. stuff. They, yeah. They've well, then they, there was R a huge subreddit, and also the gore R slash. Stuff. Uh, I think it was jailbait. Or something like oh that. My oh my god! That was a huge. Remember that? That was a huge subreddit. No. And then they took it off. But it was like it was they like let a that shit. For a they while. let that that's, shit exist. Yeah. yeah. That's wild. Yeah. For years, god, probably. Damn, bro. Yeah. No, Reddit. Uh, they were getting away with some shit. They was getting <laughs> yeah. away with some shit. But for the but to speak to what you were talking about, like the the comments and stuff is usually like pretty positive and shit. Like mm, yeah. I saw a video and the girl in it was trans. Uh -huh. And one of the comments was like, like it was just I won't say the comment. It was a transphobic comment, uh -huh. and he just got destroyed. Yeah, I have seen that. Right, that, that was on Twitter. I think. In the comments. Someone, right. someone was like exposing that person. Yeah, like oh, and you're you're fucked up over on this thread, and it's like all the threads are like incels that can't get like r slash incel r slash yeah. yeah lonely right. forever type right. shit. Yeah, I love that. So that that in itself is like. If yeah, if the porn community gets more positive, I think that's a good thing. Right, it's like a net good thing. It's yeah. wild because there is such a positive porn community out there. It's just like that's not what gets platform. That's not what is right. what's at the right. forefront. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there is right. something sort of liberatory about it, but it's like it's it walks that line exploitation. And yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, how it's being made. Right. right. Like, what's going on behind the scenes. Right. I mean, it's such a delicate line to walk. And then it's just it's like, like my own brain is like, who the fuck knows? Because it's just so informed by patriarchy. <laughs> right. Like, That's why we should yeah. really only jack off to the cartoon porn in the ads. With That's <laughs> true. Because nobody's right. You know it's hurt. Right. right. You know nobody's it's all being consensual. Hurt. Except for the animator who had to. That's a, pre <laughs> that's a prerequisite right. for sexual liberation. Yeah, ogre right. shit. Jack off right. the <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, just right. get the CGI, get the get the rendering power up, just right. dude. all the way. There's right. a dude on Twitter. Well, I don't know if they're a dude. I don't know what they are, mm -hmm. but they make uh, like high, like extreme. I don't know, like the big funky computer, high res, mm -hmm. uh, Mass Effect. Mm. Oh, like any game that's got like uh you know photorealistic CGI humans in it, they're right. like, I'm gonna make porn out of that, and like oh damn jiggles and like jiggles and body <laughs> movements that they put in there. I'm like, this is out of control. Yeah, yeah. How? the 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 level of almost brilliance that some of that takes to create the, yeah. the physics. Right? Like, can you, can you, you imagine if we tapped into that? <laughs> I mean, creative bro. potential bro. <laughs> to, to do some productive things for yeah. society. I mean, this is a start. I feel though. that is, no, but this is a start. Giving them, I their feel pop. that when I look at so much shit on the internet, yeah. like Minecraft. Right. I love that. 
Yeah. Just in general, by the way, like the Minecraft community. community. They remade right. like Call of Duty from Roblox. But mods yeah. too, right? Yeah. Mods, like in the amount of attention to detail and time, the hours that they put in, it's like, yo, we can we can transcend capitalism for sure. For sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like let's just 100%. let's just like I'm, I'll, I'll say that there. like you know I'm a massive like Pokemon fan. Like right. I like right. stay up to date with every single game. Right. I have not been more impressed in my life with like the modding community than when I started to play ROM hacks of right. uh -huh. Pokemon games. Right. right. There'll be people, I mean it'll be a team of like a few people, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's 30 people. Mm -hmm. They will go off and make they they usually do it on the Game Boy Advance level, uh -huh. not in, not anything higher than that. But they'll just be like, "We're just gonna make a whole fucking Pokemon game with right. our own story, with our own." I'm playing one right now where it's literally the uh, Pokemon Red story with Ash. You play a Team Rocket member who's a new recruit. Oh. And oh, so there's shit. like narrative to this shit too. Yes, they're like, like in world. Okay, it's like fan fiction. Yeah, but sometimes they'll make a whole new world and shit like that, and they get they consistently get it right and better than Nintendo right. and Game Freak combined. It's like, bro, the people know what they want and how to get to mm -hmm. it. They right. just That's need the, the resources thing. to make it. Imagine right. the video games that would be so fucking right. every every good video I mean, game in the last twenty years was like. Um, the modding community created it. Half Life, yeah. yep. Team right. Fortress GTA. Two, Counter Strike, yeah. GTA. GTA right. mod community is out of this world. Crazy, right. right? First of all, I'm gonna need a link to that. I'm gonna send it to you. Absolutely, need yeah. A link. It's Fire Red Rocket, and I got a DS Lite. I've been playing that shit. Oh and yeah. It's like you like you, you said it's you, a ROM. You, you can play it on like an emulator. You or? can play it on an emulator, but okay. I like playing it physical. But right. you're literally a Team Rocket recruit, and how you, when you battle people afterwards, it's like, do you want to steal one of this person's? Pokemon, wow. but when oh, you but yeah. there's uh, consequences to all of that shit because the feds are looking at you, oh. and you have a bounty on you that's going up. So every time you make shitty decisions like that, you can wow. go talk to a police officer in a town, and they'll be like, "Oh, what's up, dude? Your bounty is like a hundred and thirty thousand damn dollars." This is like a like a like a fucking Bethesda game at this yeah. point. right? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. See, I was playing the newest one, uh, Arceus or whatever, and they I hate this. First of all, they got choices. Just cookie cutter over it's cookie and over cutter. Again. They have you can make choices, but they don't mean shit. It's like you can uh, they give you options of what dialogue to say, and it's like, do you want to do? It's like, do you want to no do this? No consequences. Exactly. It's yeah. like, do you want to go talk to this person? And the options are like, sure or why not? And it's mm -hmm. like, nigga, what the beat. fuck is that? Yeah. What are I, we doing? The shit so far because they're like, let's make it adult, but keep that childlike wonder. Yeah. To the game, right? And like, because really, these games are for us who grew up playing the shit it's not like a 10 year old doesn't give a shit what exactly it's like. i i can't i can never like withstand people who are like well if you don't like the new pokemon game you should realize that it's a game for kids and no it's no, not no it's not bro. it's not it's not it's not <laughs> right the people kids, that got that shit off the ground are in their 30s they're, right. they're in their 30s so the if the franchise wasn't so like stunted by capitalism and just mm -hmm. insane greed Right, which is is Nintendo and Game Freak one hundred percent. Like the Pokemon yeah. team is like it's done. Right, yeah, and we could have insane shit if it wasn't for that. Right, I think we will. I think that's what we're moving to is like culture becoming Maybe. more organically made, more more independently made mm -hmm. than these institutions. Yeah, I've heard Nintendo is like psychotic with copyright, Bro. everything. Even when their people are streaming first party Nintendo shit. Or holding, you know, competitions or whatever. They're fucking. They 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 hate. They're on their ass. Everything. Yeah. Platforms like YouTube, Patreon, Spotify, they're all ass. They don't respect your privacy, they're riddled with ads, and they're completely silent and unreachable when you need help. Have you ever talked to somebody at YouTube? Think about that. I sure haven't. To top it all off, we don't control them at all, despite being the reason they exist. So that's why we're partnering with a design and development agency called Sanctuary Computer to build our own cooperative alternatives that bring the best features of all those platforms together and that we can control together too. We seriously got to have an exodus to some sort of digital Zion that we've built ourselves. Somewhere where all of us can actually have a say over the technology that we're using to communicate with each other. For more on how you can support us all in getting off these shitty platforms, visit opencollective.com slash digital Zion and tap in. Just because these dystopian systems are eating themselves alive doesn't mean they gotta take us with them.
Now we got to talk about that Soul Train line. That shit was sad, man, bro, man. It's a bunch. Even of I know what Soul Train line for those are. for like, those listening. <laughs> For those listening, they're referring yeah. to yeah, the Zloopers did a Soul Train night. line. He he tried. He, he tried to. Was an, if, I mean, was made. tried harder than anyone. Yeah, he could not in like yeah. a you tried hard with, but like right. really valiant yeah. effort. Right. Yeah. He, I mean, got in there. Um, it's it's New York, man. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> it like I've seen him do that in Houston, Dallas, yeah. Atlanta, like. Every other city and everyone is like, it's just gone off, gone off. They're like, not only are we gonna do it correct, we're gonna come fucking hard, right? Like it's some shit where it's like, all right, we got to get back to the show type shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like New York, was... I feel like people like in, in other cities maybe like, I don't know. My 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 armchair take is that like people are bored other places. Someone like cool shit yeah. comes through, they're like, oh fuck, and they like live hard. Right. That's what right. Zach and I were and talking about. And people in New right. York are right. just like. I'm bored because yeah. I'm never bored here. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know, yeah. it's they have too much to right. do. Yeah. So, it's, <laughs> right, it's right. wild. Like I just saw someone get hit by a car. On the way. <laughs> this, is, this is not that crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah, Sorry. like I was driving. Yeah, I left yeah. the Whitney Museum, had a meeting. Like right, right. Saw yeah. a dude get hit by a car. Right. <laughs> oh, did ketamine like, in the bathroom at Short Stories and then came here. Right, right. Yeah. Bro. Now when I hear anything that could be as interpreted as an insult against New York City, I just think of... And I'm an NYU film school graduate, <laughs> sucker! <laughs> I think of this dude. <laughs> Who is You're that? nothing. And you Who will never that? be anything. Never. You've never seen that He's video? the Quasimodo kind of guy who's who's screaming at the dude playing saxophone outside of a building, and he's got like yeah. a briefcase, and he's swinging You're it around. Disgrace! <laughs> <laughs> he's like four feet tall. Oh, my God. Wait, what nothing. is this, friend? I feel like I gotta pull it up. Yeah. Where people made mods of Skyrim, where they added like Pokemon in Skyrim because yeah. they were like, yeah. "This is what a open world." By the way, it's like, do you want money? <laughs> they, right. They truly don't like the idea of like listening to the fans and being like, "That's actually a good idea." Right. And I've been wrong, and no, I'm gonna do sick, that. They're sick fucking bastards over there because they yeah. know what they want. They know exactly oh, yeah. that Smash update where they got Sora, Minecraft, Bob, whatever the fuck. Like, oh yeah, they Steve know or whatever what the fuck. people fucking want, and they dangle it over them. Yeah, yeah. like bro, oh, I, we have can, control because they, they have to squeeze every cent out of it, and that like. Yeah. layer of bureaucracy is it, it delays all this shit right. and like bro i can't tell you how fucking mad i get playing smash bros like specific because I, I mostly play fighters and so mm. like that dlc shit just fucks up my mental health yeah just like they'll add somebody like sora or they add fucking sephiroth mm -hmm. to smash oh, like bro buster sword like. yeah right i'm just like yeah let me, let's I also just try to do what mind it, I also wouldn't mind them adding like shitty characters or whatever. Right. If they just did it all at once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bitch, if you know you're about to do this, stop making me pay extra shit and right. just make a just video, one big a, update just in a in a pile. Make the game I'll, with a hundred characters. Right. That's fine. I'll I'm put cool up with that. that. I'm cool. I'll put that. up with it. But don't give me I don't a, care if OJ Simpson is in there. <laughs> Matter of fact, I I would love that. You know what? <laughs> Put OJ Simpson in, but don't it's, give me a put fucking OJ two Simpson weeks. And Smash. But don't give me two weeks of the game where it everybody playing OJ online. It's, it's him and his U USC uniform. A new uniform. character, right. and it's him in that clip going, "Hi, hi, hi." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he, but he don't even have a knife. He just got the book. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. So I have the clip here. <laughs> Look at um, that ball spot. You can see that from space. <laughs> Yo, that's foul. I as a ball, as a ball man, I want to smack that shit so bad. So this dude is playing trumpet. By the way, this is like, when is this from? This is from years ago, right? I remember it. I remember it from way, way back. Safety Brothers actually. It gets funnier, but the Safety Brothers they put him in one of their one of their films, something like what? that, or they, or they know this guy. No, no, he's in it. The in which one? You can guy? you can see the clip. This guy, he's he drops a lot of gems in this. We're not obviously not going to listen to the whole thing. Go to a studio and rehearse. I mean, this guy's oh bringing more. He, oh, God, America, who are you? There's people who on Twitter you? who act like they would do this. In, in right. Yeah. Oh, my God. No talent. You know, artist. An artist respects the science. He knows he's being filmed. The foundation of creativity. Whoa. But you obviously don't have the talent. You don't have enough respect for yourself or other people, or what it is to express yourself. In music, or any other form of creativity, 
And I'm an NYU film school graduate, sucker, <laughs> and a school of visual arts in the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. Oh. You suck. You are no talent. You really had talent. Go practice and then get yourself a gig. Instead of ruining the end of the day, we'll be right down here. You're great. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. world. <laughs> And I've earned my right to say it. He's got the he got the he got the pants up to the titties. Right. Oh, he's going crazy. I'm Dylan up on stage. Who the fuck are you? He's going crazy. He snapped. I'm gonna let the Grateful Dead. The Grateful Dead from 1966. Who the fuck are you? He spazzed. So when I first well, first of all, I thought of this clip because. I just, when I think of New York City, I think of him. I want him to listen to um, a Yeet tape and just, like, and he immediately dies. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. This, this isn't is, music. This is it. You call this art? The last straw. I want Cardi up on stage. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? 2018. 2014. Broke boy. <laughs> Who got beef with me? <laughs> <laughs> I keep a small circle. I can't fuck with squares. <laughs> nah, but, but, um... When I first saw this, I mean, I was like, damn, this dude, the 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 void that the inside of him, mm. the the insecurity, the he's just like To not just keep walking and go home. Right. 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 But it's like he had all this shit pent up in him and he had to just unleash it. Yeah. But then Fran Leibowitz also that. Yeah. yeah, that's what comes to mind. Kind of looks right. like Fran Leibovitz. Fran Leibovitz yeah. minds her business though, right? Yeah, right. but yeah. if you she kind of just observes. That's and, that's why I fuck right. with her because she minds her business, and then every once again, someone comes and says, "Hey, how do you feel about this?" And she goes, "It's ass." Right, mm. and you can't right. be mad at that because they right. asked her. Right, right. She yeah. ain't on the sidewalk yelling. Right. That's the only he, thing. Just, you just don't don't bring up trans people to her, man. Is she, trans- yeah. is she transphobic? Yeah. She's a turf. Is she a turf? She's a turf. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Damn. Pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Pretty sure. Damn. I've heard that. You know, Fran I know we're in a sea of information, so you're probably, it's like subconscious at this point. You know there's something there, but you just, you No, can't. no, no. I, I think there's a literal documentary about one of Andy Warhol's superstars, oh. and she's like, yeah, he was born. Wow. And like, like uh, well, it's impossible to be one. Because oh, a woman is born no. as a little girl, and you got to be experienced as a little girl to be was a woman. This, like, was this Fran Lebowitz of today, or was this the Fran Lebowitz of that, no, like, of that time? Maybe ten years, if not less. Ten years uh, ago. Uh, ten years ago, hmm. if not less. Damn. Hmm. I mean, shit. <laughs> just so that, I just, I just, that fifteen so minutes that. of Fran Lebowitz yeah. praise just went out the window. Yeah, uh-huh. we, we like I, to I bum give, people out on this. I show. give right. I give grace. I, you know me. I'm always gonna give grace, especially to anybody like at, in my mom's age bracket, because right. they're just looking at everything, mm-hmm. and there's more there's more information coming at them about gender and politics and race. Than ever before. But you're saying you're saying grace to like catch up, like grace give them catch up. give them leeway yeah. to sort right. of get up to speed. Like, and let change. them catch up. Right. Let, you got to let them catch up. Because right. If you just start like beating them with the stick immediately, then their their fears, yeah, and their reaction right. and shit and their insecurities just get reinforced. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, right. like, has and she said anything about it in the past ten years not, since that I happened? No, I just remember post like there was that. Because I remember a crazy out. documentary on Netflix yeah, yeah. about her, and people were replying, "Oh shit!" Like, "Oh, but she's a fucking transphobe." Oh uh, yeah. So you know, if she wants to catch up, I know she is like a trans, big like she's a big like you know Trump guy bad Real? type shit. Oh like, okay. She, Trump you know, bad. I thought you know, she was a yeah, Trump but that could mean anything. Like, God, yeah, I think know? her politics. Mm. She's just. I honestly, bet if you ask J.K. Rowling, she would say fuck Trump. Exactly. She's just like an NY like you know apparently with liberal, but. Someone said something like, uh, "like New York lesbians." That's a thing. Some what? of them are turfs. I don't know. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's can't very, confirm. Yeah, but that's very believable. That's There's a lot of, of transphobia in the queer community. My yeah. homie, yeah, uh, yeah. Right. my homie Grace, right. Right. who you might know, she uh, Grace Freud. She works. Uh, she worked on Rick and Morty, and um, oh, maybe she worked a little bit with me on an upcoming project. Uh-huh. And 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 she definitely be shedding a whole lot of light on like the in the intra community tensions and mm, hate like yeah. cuz she's 
a, a she's trans and has a girlfriend or a, I think they might be getting married and like just like the dynamics and shit that they got to go through in LA alone mm-hmm. with I other lesbians mean. and shit she's like she be putting yeah. me on game and I'm like damn I had no idea shit yeah. be like yeah. I mean deep, that, like real beef within the community it's that Chappelle shit you know yeah. that uh people in the car bit where you're talking about yeah. everybody else in the car is like fuck these niggas right here yeah. or what and even if that wasn't true beforehand he reinforced the shit that was bubbling under the surface Facts. you know so if Facts. it wasn't there before it's there now yeah i mean there's just you know? as many asshole like gay people i mean on grinder the shit you fucking come oh, across yeah, bro so much like <laughs> racism home and canceled, also just being yeah, and just shit. being rude just like yeah uh you're wasting my time just like <laughs> yeah. that type of vibe <laughs> that's what i'm saying like, you, you come over throw. you gotta be buff you gotta have leather <laughs> and you gotta be ready to you know it's just like that's yeah. why i'm saying the 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 shit of catching up because like prior mm-hmm. to this year, like last year, the extent of my knowledge on like the intra community hate and shit yeah. was coming from Atlanta. Right. Mm, and right. like just knowing that like I was like, yeah, white gay men are racist yeah. to black gay men. Right. And yeah. Atlanta They're misogynistic is a, too. And right. Atlanta is right. yeah, and Atlanta is a, you know, kind of segregated yeah. mm-hmm. gay place where like a lot of that shit don't cross wires. Mm-hmm. But then you learn more and get introduced to more parts of the community you're like oh this shit is crossing wires everywhere it's it's fuck yeah but what was that ti shit where he like literally did a oh a set yeah where he was talking about T- how he first of all ti like- doing stand-up now what? Fucking i know yeah. what he, yeah yeah he had a clip he said like he was clifford like, clifford Clifford the man, <laughs> Clifford Tip Harris said, uh, "Now you know I came here to make y'all laugh." laugh. <laughs> yeah, he laugh. said expeditiously he, on stage. He said, <laughs> "Like, like, ha ha, I'm funny. I use big words." No, he didn't. Even or he know, unironically self referentially. Oh, okay, yeah. right, right. Oh my yeah. god! But in this last clip, he was like Yo, ruining I'm, the joke. I'm tired of I'm tired of Atlanta getting blamed for all the gay shit. He was like, "What?" He, That's what straight he up, he was like, "I'm tired of Atlanta getting what blamed that even for all that gay shit." Blamed, blamed, <laughs> right? And and he said, Where does he that said even like come from? some shit that if you were coming at it from a place of love is valid, but he's coming at it from a place of like fuck these things. He's like, yeah, he's like, it's fucked up how y'all y'all was straight where y'all came from, and then you come to Atlanta, you feel all free to be who you are, and shit. Yeah. Like, meanwhile, nigga, I'm gonna put an nigga, electron yeah. microscope in my daughter's <laughs> vagina. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Just right. like patriarchy. Right. Authoritarian patriarchy. Yeah. That's weird. Right. Most, fr- that. most crisp. It's, most deep fried. Right. Just plain yeah. stupid. Too. Yeah. Like, right. At yeah. The baseline. Blame. Also, like, where does you that thought, are one right. of the best rappers ever. Why are you doing stand up? Like, why are you're you one talking of the biggest in a, artists ever? Why are you talking in a forum where people can hear every word clearly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Why are you putting, your, yeah. putting yourself under the microphone? Who told, like now, who told Clifford he was funny? That's right. what I want to know. You know what's fucked up is friends of mine in Atlanta put him on their shows, and I was oh, and I don't man. and I didn't want to say it, but I was like, I, I know you're about to be apologizing <laughs> for this shit. The look Zach just gave. I mean, I'm like y'all know niggas, you just don't want to name them. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> right. I'm just like I know you you're about to either sweep this under the rug or apologize right. for it within the next. two I weeks. think anybody should get to should be able to go to Old Smith's Bar in yeah. Atlanta right. and, and go up at open mic night or whatever, whether you're Blake Griffin or whoever it might be, like, go ahead, try it out. It doesn't matter right. if you're famous yeah. or not. Right. But, like, there's a – there should just be – when everybody talks about, like, com- comedians being in community and shit like that, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm like, if this is a community, these <laughs> niggas weak as shit. <laughs> right. Because they don't communicate any type of gatekeep. They don't yeah. gatekeep shit. Going back to Fran Lebo, it's anybody. Actually, yeah. Yes, anybody can just come in and like step on the whole mm-hmm. thing and yeah. be like, "Ha ha, I'm I'm a comedian now," and like comics will go, "Cool," and then they'll just talk shit in the green rooms yeah. and shit like that. But they right. won't really say or do nothing about it yeah. to make a stand towards the art form and be like, "No, yeah. you can't just say you're this now." Right. Right. And it's it's whack because like there's no platform. There's plenty of way. There's plenty of platforms for people to say you suck at comedy. But people's sure. idea of comedy is you are good at telling a joke. Mm-hmm. But jokes are fucking trash. Jokes for the most part are they're like 
formulaic. They're forgettable. Trash. Formula- forgettable. They're formulaic. They're forgettable, and there's no accounting for what the ideas are behind the joke. Everybody's like, "Well, this shit made me laugh. This shit was a joke. This shit mm-hmm. was funny." Mm-hmm. But like, when people like Ti show up on, on a stand up stage, then it's like, "Oh, I could just say my opinion." Right. I could just say yeah. what I actually believe, and right. that's that's beat. a joke. That's right. what a joke is. I don't want to make it seem like there isn't any gatekeeping in comedy. Like, I think Ti shouldn't <laughs> be able to just freely do stand up. But you know, if Ti walks into the comedy store, they're gonna be like, "Who the fuck are you?" Like, right. there's yeah. there's abusers in comedy. Right. You know who they are. You know you know what they've been through in the past couple of years, and. The comedy store is entirely like ran by women, and they mm. they will say, "No, it's not happening." Yeah, mm. nope, you're banned, you're out. Oh, you know what okay. I mean? Right, right. Like I never wanted to make it seem like it's not there because it is. It just it it, it like it comes down to like more institutions being created. You know what I mean? Where like that shit doesn't happen in the first place. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and that goes into governance, too, and decision making within the workplace and ownership. And right. Yeah. Yeah. And going against the the pyramid, hierarchical pyramid structure, trying to have, you know, a democratic processes. And that's the norm. That's the standard. Everybody has a say. And yeah, Mm -hmm. to that same point, it's like. You could have some fucked up women running the shit that don't give a fuck right. about Absolutely. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They want don't the top care. down. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we gotta talk about girl boss shit, that whole dynamic. Mm-hmm. Like they're just as liable to to put on some fuck shit as yeah. anybody else. I think even like, you know, it, cause it's like stand up specifically, you are a you're a, like a merchant. You know what I mean? You go around with your words and you you sell that shit at different places. Right. You, mm-hmm. you like when you're on tour, you you want baseline to know that like you're going to like a good venue with good mm-hmm. people, servers who give a shit, you know, <laughs> right. good crowds and shit like that. And once those which they already are, once like venues have this like network, they talk to each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the improv of D C <laughs> and the improv over here and the comedy store and the seller like they have a network and they talk to people and, and shit spreads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when somebody's on some fuck shit, sometimes in a in the worst case, it gets a pass mm. and it flies. Right. In the best case scenario, they all look at it and they go, Yeah, I mean, if he's if y'all say no, then we say no too. You know right. what I mean? Like, and that is something that in the creation of, of the new shit and stuff that we already always talk about. That's got to be like baseline, you know? Right. And we could have that at on the ground level in terms of like we can make the same decisions outside of these clubs, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like we all book shows at other venues or whatever, mm-hmm. and there's plenty of abusers that skirt under the radar because they're not doing any clubs. They're just doing, some of them just doing theaters. Mm-hmm. Some of them mm-hmm. just are on their own on their own time, on their own routes, whatever, Facts. just entirely outside of the community. Yeah, you yeah. You know? So like... Or there's entirely separate comedy communities that you don't even communicate like, with that. You're you talking know? about like 85 South? Right. They could give like a fuck comedy flying story fuck as far about as <laughs> any vulture, right. HBO, right. the comedy right. store, could the comedy store. They, they, 85 South did something blacker and more punk than all of it and just said, man, mm-hmm. we're going to go straight back to the Chitlin circuit. Yeah. Right. Black people already carved it out for us. Right. That right. shit already <laughs> existed in Atlanta, to, really. Right. You know? So they're like, mm-hmm. well, we're just going to go right there. And they yeah. are some of the funniest people to see live, I think, on this planet at this yep. current moment. Yep. I don't yep. know. Yep. And, and they're completely outside of the industry. Yeah. yeah. I just, I wanted to speak to something because I see a through line in what you're saying too, like in terms of talking about community Mm-hmm. and abuse and like tensions and drama and all of that and i feel like the governance piece and decision making piece is like mm-hmm. baked into that it shapes it relies what, on what, that. Yeah. right yeah. exactly and i feel like there is this sort of tension um in the times that we're in and that we've been conditioned to be like hyper fragmented and yeah. like yeah. sort of yeah. pulled apart from each other right mm-hmm. and but we we're also like and i feel like we are craving community in mm-hmm. a way but yeah. then but then there is also an aversion to 
the bullshit that happens and that people associate with other communities that don't have that governance, decision-making power right. shit figured mm -hmm. out. Well, you it's know like, what I mean? it's that individualistic, like hyper displacement from, yeah. you know, financial insecurity, from scarcity. Right. Now right. layered on top of that, you have like people are lit are like investing more of their actual life, soul and personality into the internet, which mm -hmm. is more atomizing. Right. right. But like a close friend of mine recently, you know, his girlfriend, like their whole block didn't get shoveled. No one shoveled the entire block because like there's just no idea of just like neighborhood. Right. Anymore. right. There's no yeah. idea of like just shovel because it's your neighbor. Like if, <laughs> right. we, all, we, live here. if right. we all just like shoveled right. a path for our cars, the whole street would be clear by now. Right. And right. so he literally had to go to her place to shovel, you know, right. in like a snowstorm. Yeah. And and they were all like, well, the guy, you know, the the local government should be doing that for us and it's like, <laughs> it's like what well, happens okay. when the local government doesn't do right. that shit Come. for you exactly. yeah we're what only left in... with each other right in those moments you yeah. know right exactly. and we're seeing that shit disappear fast uh-huh right any kind of like any crisis you see how any locality reacts to that shit it's pretty bad right, yeah. right. You know? and then what is right. the answer authoritarian like nation state control where it's like people are more locked. bosses right. like no yeah. no you know right you all want to go ahead you were going to say something? oh sorry <laughs> nah go ahead go ahead <laughs> no nah, i was just speaking to the, the like neighborhood <laughs> aspect of it all because that also ties into the way i feel about grace you know what i mean yeah. and the way i feel about right patience right people right. because we all that's found, the shit you would get in the church bro we and sometimes we all, you get judgment and you get all a bunch of you bullshit, get everything. Yeah. but you, you could get that you could too, get grace, right? yeah. you know? And it's like, we all find each other via the internet and that's all great and good because we have like united principles and shit like that. But like the people on my block, it's the right. biggest mixed bag of right. anything you could imagine. Right. Right. But at the end of the day, snow hits the ground. Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. Power goes out. Yeah. Power goes out. Buy this is what I got. Get a now shovel. what? Got a shovel, got a generator. Now what are you now what you know? are we talking about? We're not talking right. about buzzwords. We're not talking right. about right. opinions on shit. We're not talking about what you what yeah. you think about the Ukraine shit. We're talking about nigga, there's snow on the ground or the power's out or right. something fucked up. It's right in front of you. Yeah, our, our power struggle in front of you. Right, right. My 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 the my neighbor across the street, Dion, is just regular dude, swole guy who just sits outside all day and like cleans his three classic cars. That's you know hard. what I mean? Like, right. yeah. like these are the people that you have to start dealing with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it's good because we can, it's like a two pronged thing because we do have the power of the internet where we can disseminate and talk about these values in a big macro way. And then also reach back and right. touch base there. I was, I had Kiwi outside. I think I might've told you this <laughs> cat had Kiwi outside. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, the door is here and the sidewalk is here where I live in LA. Yeah. And Kat had Kiwi just like roaming around, just being cute in the grass because she doesn't, she's not like a leash dog all the mm -hmm. time. Uh -huh. right. She can sit off the leash and just pee and then walk back in. Right. And this white lady walking two dogs like comes around the corner and gets off the sidewalk before she gets to Kat and Kiwi. And then from the street is like, you need to put your fucking dog Whoa. on the leash. And Kat mm -hmm. was like, this is, no, I mean, this is my house right here. I'm not like walking around. Because if right. if Kat was walking around the neighborhood, no, she's right in front of her door. And the lady was like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Look what I have to do. Look what I have to do. I have, I have to walk in the street because your dog, like, I don't know what your dog is going to do. Oh, oh, my God. And starts like doing the thing. Yeah. And then she's like. Put Kiwi is leash. a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix, yeah, right. by the way. I need y'all to know that know. Kiwi is this the side of that, the size of that <laughs> Chia Pet Chewy yeah, head. Right, right. And this right. lady was walking two massive, <laughs> like, right. like, hounds. like two big ass hounds, and uh, right. and then she goes, uh, "Yeah, put the dog on a leash, or I'm gonna report you to the police." Uh, of course, and like starts doing this thing, and like the hyper individualism shit, yeah, and right. then walks proprietary back shit. Like this is my. This is mine. Land. Um, and then right. walks back <laughs> like, like around. Is... Me, I vibrate low. <laughs> so Kat comes back inside telling me that someone just said they're going to call the cops on, on Kiwi. I'm running right. down the block. And I think I had, we had just gotten back from Columbia. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And man, when I tell you, it was like day and night. Like I came from 
seeing the possibilities of how mm-hmm. people can like be connected to land, take care of each other, and it's unspoken right. in Colombia. Right. The people they just do it because that's what you do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just take care of the people around you and y'all have mutual aid and shit like that. And I flew back and the the first day back, I had to cuss out a white woman from across the block. Don't right. you ever say you go. I'm doing like Denzel <laughs> right. yelling. Right. <laughs> Twenty four hour lockdown. Right. <laughs> Pelican right. Bay, bitch. Like. Right. right. But just to bring it all full circle, it's like I'm thinking about the conditioning, th- bro. You that I mean, contrast yeah. can be attributed largely to our fucking conditioning, the psychology of it, and that's why part of me feels like. You know, we have to we have to buckle down and have the infrastructure building conversations and the conversations about like what are we gonna do about the snow? You know what I mean? Mm, right. Yeah. But we also gotta like it's we can have fun yeah. doing that. Yeah. At the right. same time. It doesn't have to be this like rigid compartmentalized yeah, aesthetic, thing. Like no, miserable no. shit. Yeah. Right. That's what that's why I think of the church thing because again, organized religion, we can maybe talk about that later. Right. But just to come into a community, at least in my context from my upbringing, and then have what they call fellowship, right? right. Yeah. But then also you're gonna talk about life shit and you're gonna talk mm. about the human shit. Right. You know? Right. Do y'all want to carry this conversation out? Yeah. 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 To the people? Yeah. 100%. We should do that. Yeah, yeah. Fact. Let's go. We should do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. I'm with yeah, that. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Turn this I got a few keepers. I I know black men. When we were 14, 16, the first thing that they talked about was like 48 laws of power and like right. shit that's literally right. taught to you to dominate other people. Right. And, yeah, and right. kids are taught like it is natural. The only real thing that makes sense is to dominate. Right. So that's the whole dichotomy, right? Yeah. Dominate or be dominated. That's right. Like, right. Kill or be killed. No, it's I like, yo, we can cooperate and chill and right. chill. Right. make decisions together. To see this part of our show in full, head on over to opencollective.com slash jadedforum and become a contributor. Your contributions will help us keep the conversation going and grant you access to exclusive footage. Hey, you know you want to help us out. Come on, throw us some dollars. Throw us some money, man. We need it. Mexican food in New York is kind of fire, actually. Like, they know yeah. how to make a taco. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at it at all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not mad at all. My friend yeah, who's from cooked. LA is like, yeah, Mexican food's all right. I'm like, dude, it's Mexican people. It's Mexican food. It's fire. As as Mexican people, I mean, yeah. I've been blown away here in LA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. LA was dope. That's fire. Oh, me. I was, ooh. I was fucking diseased, <laughs> booty hole up. <laughs> I mean, shit, just the truck. That was the end of it. Dirty with feces. Dirty with feces. Dirty with feces. Dirty with feces. What more do you want from me? I just want my baby.